Hey guys, it's White, and I'm going to be bringing you another NCAA Football 12 Dynasty game. Um, I'm playing as the Mid-Tennessee Blue Raiders, and today we are going up against the number two ranked Oregon Ducks. Um, we had a big game last week against the FCS Dragons. I'm not sure exactly what region they are from, but um, I'm really excited. This should be our first big matchup against a team that you know we all know, and um, it should really show how I can defend against them. I got acquainted with my defense a little bit last week, but um, I think I'm going to be mainly using my middle linebacker. And you see there my senior wide receiver Alex Tanner got player of the week for the Sun Belt Conference with uh, two, two touchdowns, 166 yards on six receptions. So um, luckily Oregon's got their right guard and wide receiver with a broken ankle and uh, I can't read that. <laughs> Another broken another broken bone or something like that, but they're out for a couple of weeks, so we're going to have a little bit of advantage going into this game. And um, so we're playing at Mid-Tennessee, which is interesting because normally most teams, uh, when it's a big game like this with a big school, most uh, no-name teams play at the big school's stadium just for revenue purposes. But we're playing at Mid-Tennessee today, and um, we had trouble defending both the pass and the run. It was a lot more difficult than I would have thought. Um, and uh, you see there them getting a big pass and uh, not completing it on third down. But um, the booth reviews it. And uh, on the review, you can see it looks like his foot is out to me. But when he steps down completely, the tip of his left foot is inbounds. You see there... It looks clearly out of bounds, and then when he sets the tip down, it is in bounds. So um, it's a game call, but uh, the booth already reviewed it. Even if I challenged it, it wouldn't make a difference because they've already reviewed it. So um, that's too bad, and they just continue on with this drive. Uh, little passes and little runs and just making a huge difference. And um, you s see here they get a nice pass over the middle. Um, my, d my defenders in zone just can't. Did not have the coverage on them that they needed, and they get a touchdown. They put it up 7-0. And uh, see there, we get a nice little sack. The quarterback was trying to run the ball a lot. Um, he was a big problem, that starting quarterback. And um, so you'll see on this play, he tucks it and runs, and he gets a big gain and gets the first down as well. And so after that, you know, I, I was certain I'm not going to let this QB scramble again. And so on this play, you can see the QB tries to tuck it and run, and I'm ready. And I just hit him hard. And he is down with an injury. He is not moving. You see there, I am just ready, sitting right behind the offensive line, and take him out. And he'll be out for the game. Calvin Williams, their, senior, their uh, junior starting quarterback. And that was a big thing for me. I think that's what kept me in range of, you know, being having a reasonable loss here sorry I kind of gave that away but having a reasonable you know score differential is taking out that starting quarterback early but um regardless we still didn't stop the run and or the pass very well we we're having a lot of trouble you see there they're uh, they're running back getting a touchdown and I'm um, putting it up 14-0 so as you can see um, I couldn't really get that many interceptions. We we only got uh, two turnovers. Both were fumbles, and um, we really weren't able to create the kind of defensive stops uh, we were so happy with our first week. Um, it's going to be something that we're going to have to uh, learn how to play against a better offense in general. But you see there, they get some big yards with a wide receiver run, and um, we finally bring them down. And on the uh, very next play, um, they're going to, I'll wait for it here, they're going to go with another wide receiver run the opposite direction, but we get, we hit them really hard, knock the ball out and get the fumble, and that was huge. That's what kept us from being, um, kept this game within two points, and um, that was huge. And then the next next drive, we get another fumble. And um, that'll set us up for the touchdown. Um, so we go into the half 7-14, only down by a touchdown. And we couldn't believe that we are making such a big impact on a game um, 
against. You see there, I went for the, I went for a quarterback blitz on the left side, and they run a halfback screen on the right side. It was just the worst play to call, and they were just had the best play set up, and they'll take it, you know, 70 something yards for a touchdown. And so that was kind of a killer for me. We could have probably made a stop on that drive, being that they had so long to go. We definitely could have stopped them somewhere. But uh, it was just unfortunate. They ran a lot of halfback screens. And, you know, I think I got him there. I felt like I, I read the run. I rushed at him, and he gets tackled over the line. So that's that's going to move the chains. But um, you see here that <laughs> we just could not defend against the QB scramble. They'll take it for another first down. And um, they're going to take this one and... and put a little bit out of reach for us here with um, another running touchdown. You see, I think I got him, but he gets tackled into the end zone. So, number five, I was kind of pissed at him because, you know, we had the stop, but we didn't keep him from the touchdown. But we get another sack there, luckily, and um, stop him there, but they uh, next drive, they get all the way down with a minute and a half left, and um, we managed to uh, make a stop here, which was huge because we thought we were going to face another, another, you know, lame touchdown in the fourth quarter. But we finished this one up 28-13 uh, with a loss to the Oregon Ducks, and that was huge, playing the number two team in the nation. That play of the game being that halfback screen that just ended poorly for us. I really think with a stop on that halfback screen, um, we would have fared better. We we probably would have kept this within a touchdown and um, maybe have changed things up a little bit. But uh, Slaughter there getting 17 of 32, having a pretty nice game. Our running backs not doing so well. Um, but Tanner and Hart there putting up some big averages for uh, their receptions. And I was pretty excited about that. That showed our passing game really had some promise against some big teams. And for defensive, we have Bradshaw with eight total tackles. And we have um, we have Pau uh, leading our team with sacks. And um, we only had those two fumbles in the game, but both were recovered, luckily. So um, I have actually an objective for um, two-plus fumble recoveries. Um, in a season. I don't know if it's a season or each season, but um, I wonder if two covers two plus, or does they, do they expect three? So um, we'll see with uh, um, when we go to my objective screen whether or not I uh, completed that objective, which will be my first completed objective of the season. And um, you see there, we only get 58 yards rushing and 181 yards passing. And they get 137 yards rushing and 200 yards passing. But So we made a great, great effort against keeping them to 200 yards passing, especially being that that one pass went for 70 yards. Other than that, we, you know, we kept them right in there with our rushing game. And that's, that's huge for us, especially against such a big team. I figured it was going to be that real black mark on our yard, our yardage allowed for the season, and we were really going to have to struggle to meet our objectives after this game. So we just got to focus on um, Boise State now. We come, we have a bye week next week, and we have, you see there, I have 10 total sacks on the season. I have my two fumble recoveries, but it's... Um, but it didn't complete the objective yet, so it may need another one. Um, but um, I have... A bye week next week, and then we play Troy. So Troy is one of our, um, one of our, I believe it's one of our rivalry games. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work out, but um, you see there's Slaughter being our player of the game. And um, so I'll be bringing you guys another game probably later this evening. I'll be recording it. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed this game against the Oregon Ducks. Next week, I won't be bringing you a recruitment video, being that I really don't have anything yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, this is White from Mega Media Storm. Enjoy. <laughs>